Welcome, I'm your host, Locum23, and joining me for the Cursed Prince, Chapter 17. Why is it every time I turn a corner, look out a window, or even walk down the sidewalk, it's you? I get no rest from your godforsaken face. Of all the people you happen to run to, it had to be him. Gregory Rice is the one person I seem never to be able to get rid of. Hello there, Henrietta. I'm just out walking my pet monster, or your pet monster, on this fine evening. You roll your eyes and then turn to glance at Cyrus. <laughs> he chuckles as somewhere between a laugh and a growl. You can feel the tension rising. I have to get Cyrus out of here. I can't predict what he's going to do with what face with this jerk. Gregory? We must be going. Well, this reunion was fun, but we have to get be somewhere else. Um, anywhere else. Really. Ta-ta! Gregory looks like he's about to say something. You push past him and continue on your way. Honestly, it's really old running into him all the time. It's like he knows where I'll be at all times. That is one guy. That, one thing that scares me. Guys with fangs. Not so much, but a guy that knows my every move. Yes. You get a few feet away from Gregory when you hear him shout something you can't quite make out. You turn around to see what he wants, so he doesn't follow you back to the castle. What you see actually surprises you. He's drawn a large, sharp knife from a pouch strapped to a slag. It gleams in the moonlight. You can't... You almost can't process it because it's so ridiculously looking. Pretty boy Gregory with a knife. What a joke. There's no way he knows how to use that thing. He starts to lunge towards you and Cyrus with a knife drawn. You don't bother to back away. It's Gregory freaking Rice, the village idiot. He's just a poor little puppy trying to act like a big dog. You know you're holding it upside down, right, peasant? Shut up. I know how to hold it. Do you know how many kung fu movies I've seen? What? Oh, God. Henrietta, this is a waste of time. Can we or perhaps move along? Yeah, piss off, Greg. We don't have time for... Suddenly, you see someone come out from around the corner with a knife that looks identical to Gregory's, and you hear more footsteps approaching. So you brought friends. Great. What? Never seen a mob before? This is how we handle monsters in our town. You'll thank me once I freed you from his spell, and you'll remember how adorable I am. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I think not. Come on, Sai, we need to leave. Now. Henrietta, I smell more enemies approaching. At least five men. Cyrus is standing behind you as you back up to get away from, from the slowly approaching gang of thugs. You run into a wall. A wall named Cyrus. We will not flee, Henrietta. This prince is no coward. Is his knight a coward? No, but... I have fought warriors with swords bigger and longer than both of his arms. I can take down a dozen trained soldiers with knives that are no longer than my foot. As the crown prince, I was trained to wield a number of deadly weapons. But as the cursed prince, I exist as the deadliest weapon of all. Cyrus? I know you can take them. We're leaving. I have no doubt in my mind that you would could totally destroy these thugs, but right now, we need to go. I will not be scared off like a, a bat from a mutton roast. What? A, a bat, a, a small winged creature. They are attracted to flames when you roast a mutton. The, the insects like the flame, and the bats come to eat the... How do you not know this? Uh, tell me all about it. Somewhere else, let's move. We need to stay under the radar, Sai. Especially since we just stole something from a witch. So I ponders for a moment. I wish I could say no to you, Henrietta. We'll do it your way this time. His deep voice sends a tingle down your spine. Focus, Henrietta. You don't have time to unlock the box and crazy in your head. You look back at Gregory and the small gang that is formed around him. They didn't come further than where he was standing. I recognize these people from town. They're just regular people. Somehow Gregory talked them into attacking us in the middle of the night, like, with knives. In here I thought he wasn't organized. Gregory, a little 
glee club looks fun and all, but we're not interested in joining up. And we're not down to sell cookies or get signatures to save the whales or whatever it is you're up to. If y'all know what's good for you, you'll pack up and head home to your families while you still can. Father Donald, I know your wife and daughter wouldn't like what you're doing right now. Maybe singling out one of the Gregory's followers will bring them to their senses. What the f- Really? It's all three of you. <laughs> guy in the back I like, guy in the middle's an a-hole, and the front guy? He looks um, like a modified guy from Inject Me Sweetly. We've been told the truth, young lady. We are here because the Abomination cannot continue to freely walk the streets. Either he locks himself back up or we will kill him. We're protecting our families. You would do well to think about your sister as well. Oh, shut up. You're all a bunch of backwards, big-headed, scaredy-cats taking orders from a child. That's right, Gregory, your child, because you and the rest of the people following you know nothing about this. You know nothing, nothing about what's going on at the castle, and know nothing about the person standing by me. So stay out of my business, our business, and we'll leave you alone, deal? Stare them down, waiting for someone to defy your speech. A sixth man appears behind you. He is not carrying a knife. He is carrying a long neck rifle. While Cyrus is focused like a laser on the mob in front of you, you only hear the click of a hammer being pulled back. You spin around. Cyrus has noticed this and also spins around. The man is only a couple feet away, with a rifle pointed at Cyrus's head. The man sees Cyrus's red eyes pale peeling skin and razor-sharp teeth, he trembles. Oh no, I'll shout at Cyrus to duck. Cyrus, that's a, a rifle. It can kill you. It's like a, a crossbow or a cannon. Did they have those in your time? <laughs> Just stop him. Cyrus growls and yanks the rifle from the man's hand. With ferocity, Cyrus smashes the rifle over the man's head, knocking him out and destroying the rifle. You're taking a rifle, smashing over a guy's head, and it destroyed the rifle, but it didn't kill the guy. Okay, alright. We could have used that, I guess, but at least they don't have any more guns. I hope. The mob near Gregory looks anxious. The attempt to surround you has failed. Gregory is trying uh, to mad-dog you with a disgusted glare, but he just looks sad and silly. You step back with Cyrus and watch the people in the mob in front of you making their way making sure they don't make a move on you. He needs to be taken out, Henrietta. You and I both know it. Now move aside and allow us to do the work for you. Gregory is, be is just begging to be punched, isn't he? You know what, Gregory? If you really think you can have the strength to kill him, and me too, then you'll have to catch us first. Come on, Cyrus. Let's split. Split what? Oh, god damn. I don't think Boogie would really co co like I'm trying to think of the word. I don't think he would understand it. Let's go with that. Boogie was in 1950s, 60s, and he was still cooped up in the castle. Okay. Hold butt. Go 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 go. On your last word, you turn, grab Cyrus's hand, and break into a run. You look back for a split second, and see they're still chasing you. You make sure the book you stole is securely in your grip before you start running faster. And we can make it to the castle before they catch up to us. There are a billion rooms to hide in there. I don't think they're going to enter the castle. There are some secret dungeons as well. Places never meant to see the light of day again. I do not wish to cower or hide, but I will take you there and protect you with my life, Henrietta. Aw, oh, hey. Isn't that my line? I'm the knight here, after all. Cyrus grins and picks up his pace. Aww. Well, <clears throat> I hope y'all did enjoy. Um, feel free to head out down to the description below. We've got links to social media, links to our Discord, and let me go ahead and get this diamond here. And also links to a few a few links to support me and my content. It's greatly appreciated. Um, so long story short, we have, as you can see, 18, 19, and 20 to go. Um, so one thing I wanted to let you all know, in case you're used to the t uh, ticket timers, they have lowered them. Uh, the ticket timers used to be three. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have like a frog in my throat. 
the uh, ticket timers used to be a lot longer, but a lot shorter now. Uh, so do keep that in mind. So with that being said, uh, once again, I do hope you all did enjoy. I hope you all, or I thank you all for watching, and I hope you all will tune in for more. Until next time, stay well, stay awesome, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.